Hello and welcome to another video. In this one we're going to be talking about Pathlib and in particular how I sped up Black's cache by about 40x uh, by avoiding Pathlib. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to show you what I fixed and also the research and performance analysis that I did uh, while fixing it. Anyway, let's jump into it. Okay, so to get started, I'm just going to make a simple Python file and we're going to show the particular bug here. Um, if I do print hello, hello world, and we are going to make a virtlav, and we're going to install black, and we're going to run black on that file here. Now, one thing about black is it stores a cache of files that it previously parsed. That way, it doesn't waste time trying to reformat them uh, because black's for formatting is pretty slow, and so that's something that it wants to avoid. And so if we run black on this file, oh, let me show you the cache first of all. Cache um, black ls-alh. Oh, we got to get in the version directory. And note that this version 20.8 beta 1 still contains the bug. Um, it's only just been merged to be fixed right now. And you'll see in here that there's a couple of pickle files. Um, pickle is a serialization format that's specific to Python. Essentially what it does is it takes the Python objects and then writes a little bit of bytecode in a file such that those objects can be you know, rehydrated into memory when you load them. Um, and Black has a couple of different caches here. This one right here is the one that we're worried about. Uh, these other ones are caches for the actual uh, language grammar that gets used to uh, deserialize things. Uh, but we're worried about this, this pickle right here, which is the uh, cache for the particular paths that are um, being processed by Black. And you'll see on my machine, I've run Black on quite a few files. And so it's about, you know, about a megabyte, um, which is you know, not, not very big, but it's, it's enough to make a, a big difference in how Black's caching works here. And so let's start by running black on this particular file here. Uh, note that this file, you know, we just created it, so it won't be in the cache. And if we run this, let's actually time it so I can show you the, the timing problem here. Uh, you'll note that this, you know, particular file uh, was left unchanged, and it took almost 600 and, oh, well, we ran it a few times. It took about, you know, 530 milliseconds to run on this file. Now, if we were to run on an empty cache, it's actually going to be much faster. And the reason for that is, uh, the current version of Black takes a really, really long to load this, and I'm going to show you why, hint, it's pathlib. That's why this video was called, <laughs> called with this. Uh, but if we do, let's see, if we make a T directory, I'm going to force this to be Black's cache directory by doing, well, that's actually armorft, and uh, we can do time xdg cache home. This is how we point it at the particular directory to be, you know, treat this to be the cache, not you know, the part in my home directory. And if we do black t.py, uh, you'll see that it's much faster. <laughs> uh, you know, in this case, you know, for a 1.2 meg cache, that's almost, you know, 400, 350 odd milliseconds faster. Uh, and you'll see it's it's consistent as I run it a few times. It's, it's uh, you know, not, not spending a lot more time there. And this is with loading or like recaching these grammars, these pickle grammars. So. Uh, these are also being completely reflushed every time this happens. Uh, and so I was like, huh, that's weird. Why is Black's cache so slow? I decided to profile it and see where uh, I went from there. So I created this issue on Black. Uh, this has the conclusion in the title, so spoilers. Um, but I you know, essentially set up the same scenario that I did there. Uh, I had a much larger cache on my other computer, and my other computer is much slower, so that's why the difference here is much more pronounced. Um, you can see my, my other computer is almost twice as slow here and, and four times as slow here. Uh, and that's because the cache was larger because I, you know, do more. <laughs> I do more stuff with black on my other computer, apparently. Um, oh, you yeah, you can see here that this this cache is, you know, 1.2 versus or 1.2 versus 3.8. Oh, spoilers. 3.8 megs here. Um, so I decided to profile it and see why it was slow. So I whipped out my performance, you know, analysis tools. And that usually involves doing something like python mc profile o log.pstats. I've done another video on the same set of pro profiling tools before, so I will link that profiling video in the video. Um, you know, -m black t.py. Uh, so this will generate a pstats file, pip install yelp, gprof2 dot. And if we run gprof2 dot on out.pstats, and then we pipe that to dot tsvg out dot svg. Uh, no file out dot pstats. Oh, I called it log. OK, 
Okay, well, we'll use the word log then. Uh, so essentially, this is the same set of perform performance tools that I did before. Um, of course, I, I cut out the root of this so that it's easier to see by finding... Uh, where is the root module here? This one. If we do this and then we do... Oh, where'd that other tab go? There we go. Do dash Z that. Uh, and now if we look at this, you can see this is this is essentially just Black's code and not really the import time stuff. Because the, the import time stuff is significant here, but we're, we're not really concerned with it. But you'll see that almost all of um, Black's reformatting is spent inside this read cache function, and almost all of that is spent inside pathlib. <laughs> well, most, most of the significant stuff, so like... Uh, you know, seventy-three percent here and seven percent here. So eighty, eighty percent of the time is spent inside Pathlib, building Pathlib objects for the cache. And so I was like, oh well, <laughs> you know, we can probably avoid building all these Pathlib objects. So I went through and, you know, did some uh, did some code changes to avoid using Pathlib inside the cache. So I changed the cache from being a path to a string. And then I ran a new profile in that, and this is after I fixed it. And you'll notice that a good portion of the reformatting is still reading this cache. Uh, it's still 20% of the overall execution, but it's no longer like, you know, 80 plus percentage of that. Uh, and it's only like, you know, 70, 70 milliseconds here instead of, uh, what was it over on the other one? Uh, I got to compare apples to apples. So that was 70 milliseconds there. And this was... Um, 2500 milliseconds so like about about 40 times faster uh, 30 or 40 times faster um but anyway after that you know the cache is still significant here because it still has to serialize a lot of you know data in that that pickle but at least it's not building you know millions of pathlib objects and doing a bunch of string parsing as part of loading this um, and in fact a lot of the data in this cache was completely unused because the file that was being formatted wasn't one of the cached files, um, but that that actually didn't factor into the performance analysis. Uh, but anyway, I you know made a patch which fixed this, and so now you know Black's cache is going to be a lot faster um, because of that. So you can see that that patch here. Um, essentially, all I did was uh, take path, convert it to stir, and change all of the places where it was using the pathlib cache using uh, strings, uh, changing changing it to use strings instead of not strings. Uh, and adjust the test. But anyway, that was a pretty cool speed up there in black, so I figured I would show you guys as well as how I went about finding this and then fixing it. But anyway, if you have additional things you want to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.